it is so unbelievably hot today. I'm out here today on Case Mountain in a Californian summer heat of over 100 degrees on my Mongoose Ledge X1. This Mongoose Ledge X1 was purchased off the Walmart website for basically $400. Since then, I've put a bunch of stuff into it. Most of the stuff I had donated from another bike. Some other stuff I got inexpensively from the website. I'm going to go over certain things that I do like and things that I don't like. But first, I'd like to point out that a vast majority of the front of this bike, if not all of it, came from the Marin San Quentin 2. The parts were good and I didn't want to throw them away, so I just put them on this bike. Honestly, these parts are what convinced me to try to just build something cheap and inexpensive. Something that I can give to people and not worry if it breaks. Since last I had it, I was actually able to put on the Shimano MT200s that the Marin Quintins also had. Uh, this was probably the most important last piece of upgrade I had to do, since I already had the brakes on it from the previous tire, hence the green stickers. This bike has been feeling completely different than when I first bought it. I don't really get that Walmart feel out of it that you would get with other bikes. Or, in other words, I don't feel like the mountain is too much for it. I feel like it's just right. I do want to run through some things, however. I do want to point out that not every upgrade was the best upgrade I could have made. And I kind of want to point out some of the stuff that I do like, which were a lot of the stuff that came from the San Quentin, and other things that I don't like. Where do I begin? The cranks. These JG cranks are actually pretty good. I like them. They were inexpensive, easy to put on, and I think I'm going to use them for a while. The Advent 9-speed, however, I gotta say is not my favorite. Honestly, I found myself wanting an extra gear or just more teeth or something. Just a little more help to get up the little mountains. Honestly, on easy mountains, it's not that big a deal. Cross-country rides, it'll probably be okay. But tough climbs, I kinda wish I adopted something different. The shock itself was the DNM shock that I found online for about $60. Honestly, I can't complain too much. It's not a huge difference from the stock shock, but it does work a lot better. Honestly, I don't mind it. I'm probably going to leave it on since I don't really want to spend much on upgrading it. So, I'm going to say it stays. The seat, however, is not for me. I'm not going to say it's uncomfortable because I do find it a lot more comfortable in the stock seat. But, I don't know. Maybe I've just been spoiled with the Aragon seats that I've been using on my other builds. But, I can't complain too much, I just know that uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Also, the dropper post. This dropper is a pretty cool upgrade that I put on this. At first I thought I didn't like it, and I wish I'd gone for something different, because you kind of want something different for some quick decisions of where you're going to drop or raise a seat. But, then I started thinking, for a newbie rider who probably didn't have one before, it's not that bad. It's nice to drop it when you need it, and when you get more confident, you kind of wish you had the switch. But, I, I might leave it. I don't know. I haven't decided so far. But, it's not the worst one. I also want to talk about what was my favorite upgrade on my Marin San Quentin. Now, I'm going to say that this is probably my second favorite upgrade. The Fidlock. My first favorite little addition to this bike is this sticker. Why? Because it reminds me of a cat I got back home. Honestly, my cat's name is Betty. The sticker looks like her. I've been calling this the Betty bike. I'm not changing the name. It's going to stay. And I'd like to go over just some of the things. Like, overall, I kind of like the bike. It's not my favorite bike, and I've got better bikes at home. And I feel like other people have other Mongoose Ledge X1 builds that are honestly way better than this one. That's not to say that I hated the bike enough to not spend money I just tried to get away with what I could get away with. There are other YouTubers that you might see online, like Chicken Sandys is one of them. Kev Central also has a really good uh, Ledge X1. And uh, another channel that I can think of off the top of my head, uh, Wolf Tick. They've all got better Ledge X1s than I do. I just like having the extra bike for people who don't know if they want to spend a whole lot of money on mountain biking. I don't regret building this at all, and I kind of like the way it turned out. I do think it could have turned out a lot better, especially because I just didn't want to spend too much money on it. But I kind of feel like this fit, fits a niche for people who are curious about getting into mountain biking, 
but I also don't want to spend the same amount of money. Honestly, if you're looking to buy this bike as a do-it-all thing, it could probably get there. You might enjoy building the bike for yourself if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Or you might just spend your money on something better. It's honestly to each their own, and it's up to you. I don't regret this, and I'm still going to let people borrow this at pretty much whenever they ask. And if you stay tuned to this fight to this long, I just want to say that I honestly, I think it's an okay bike. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.